Hey guys, it's another day, busy day, in the garden today, I've been flat out, and I'm going to end it with this. Um, I haven't been able to decide where to plant this uh, latest papaya, which um, I got from Daly's a week ago. It wasn't in good nick when it arrived, but now that it's so showing some new life, I've decided to plant it here along the fence with a neighbor so it's a tight spot between the um, mandarin tree a young mandarin and uh, bananas which have been here for a couple of years so I'm gonna have to pull out these uh, lilies these kana lilies <coughs> which are almost ready to flower but that's all right I got hundreds of these uh, four different varieties they're beautiful aren't they so I'll have to sacrifice these are like banana pups I can either sacrifice them in a the compost or um, pull them out and <clears throat> plant them elsewhere see the roots perfectly intact so no damage at all that's how easy it is to move these to a different location or in pots so we're gonna dig a hole here and plant the um, papaya and this is a leftover papaya from a couple of months ago which um, I put in the ground this was like a um, one that I didn't use but I'm gonna use it look how they don't like being in pots because of root rot and it's hot every day every day it's hot and um, Every day it's hot and I don't even water it much, maybe once a week. And wet feet in, in summer. How's it going to survive in winter if it's getting wet feet now in summer with uh, 30, 35 degrees every day Celsius? Amazing, huh? So that's going to go in the ground too to see what it does together with him. Both of them. See which one makes it. Whoo! Okay, I've got these guys out for transplanting or composting. That was easy. Um, oh, there's a spider. A lot of you guys are afraid, afraid of spiders, aren't you? Huh? Especially in Europe. Look at that. Spider. Aussie spider. Aussie spider. Okay, guys, so clay. I hit clay, and look what's next to the hole. A freaking old tree. Yeah, a freaking old tree. Look at this. Look at that. An old pine tree. Which I. Uh, which I pulled out um, six years ago. So that's probably oh, a meter or two meters deep, four or five feet deep. So I'm going to plant a papaya right next to it in this hole, but I can't go any further than five inches deep. One shovel, and that's it. I hit um, hard clay. So I'm going to get a, a pick and start picking. Mm hmm. Whew. Okay, looks like I came across the uh, the root system of this pine tree with a pick. Forget about the shovel. Shovel ain't going in here. Look at this. It's all a root system from the pine tree. So I have to cut that up with a with a pick, and then we can start planting papaya. So after putting in a few handfuls of uh, gypsum and mixing it in with some native soil, I put water in there. So we're going to wait and see how long it takes uh, 
10 litres of water to drain. That's uh, two gallons. We're going to wait and I'm going to give it 10 minutes. If it doesn't drain in 10 minutes, that means I've got to keep digging, guys. That's how you plant tropical fruit trees to avoid wet feet and root rot. Okay, after the water's drained away, we cover with um, a mixture of native soil and compost. And then, when we've reached um, level ground or um, level grade, we put the plants on the top. See the, what's it called again? The uh, broadleaf papaya. All its um, roots, they're sitting above the ground, right? Like that. And the same with that one. It's straight from the pot it was in. So we're going to put a mound now of soil around these two guys and wait to see which one makes it. You can use any soil you like, guys. It doesn't really matter. I've used um, just native dirt, which I've put in there already. And I've used uh, straight compost, which it's mixed with. And I've also used um, potting mix. So they all work. I haven't had any problems with any of the three in ground. In pots, it's different. In pots, you definitely need a uh, potting mix that's well draining. So because this is well draining potting mix, I'm going to put that on top. And uh, we'll see how we go. And there it is. Two papayas planted. Late summer. And uh, it's all luck, guys, with these uh, tropicals. It's all luck. So what I did was I put everything above grade or above level ground. So root rot is not going to happen here. Um, the only thing that can go wrong is frost in winter. Um, physical damage, like if an animal steps on it or if I step on it by mistake. It's very hard to see these guys. Look how small they are. Well, we'll try not to. And the other thing that can go wrong is uh, bad luck. No matter what you do, even if you do everything right, bad luck comes along. Bad luck can be anything. Hailstone. Yeah, we got golf size hailstone here a month ago. We didn't here in, in um, my suburb, but the other side of Melbourne did, and a lot of damage. So that's called bad luck. You can't do anything about that. All right, guys. <clears throat> I'm just going to lightly sprinkle some water on this. I'm not going to water it too deeply because it's going to rain tonight. And rain is the best water. And then, in a day or two, I'm going to put all this mulch. See this mulch? All this mulch. All this um, debris from... These are all banana leaves that have broken down over the last couple of years. So, let me show you. There you are. Right? All that and all that is going to go on that. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Put a like, subscribe. See you from the next video.